All right? Beautiful. Now, okay. So we are going to give uh, some time to pray for an increase in the anointing. Yeah. And I want you to get your anointing oil because I'm, it's an anointing service from now. Amen. We need to find some oil. And there is going to be an increase. Do you know why I'm praying this prayer? Because I remember some years ago, I was watching Benny Hinn. And he said, he used to pray, Lord, increase the anointing on my life. Give me an anointing to fill stadiums. Yes. You see, and these things, they happen when you pray for them. So, we are going to pray now concerning your ministry. Whatever God is doing in your life, there's going to be an increase in the anointing that is on you. Kamaro madazambaraba. Tarembara mandola bashada balamandaraba. Hamazakatala bada balamandarabada. Amen. Now, I'm going to follow something that I have experienced. And I'm going to share that with you. And we are going to pray for that. Let, let's pray for it today. I know I've never led you to pray for that. But I want you to pray for that. Okay. Now, Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 2. It says, And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. That is what happened to me in 1988, in June 1988. The Spirit entered into me when he spoke to me and set me on my feet. Now, I want us to pray. I'm going to give you, lead you in our, our four stages of the anointing. So we are going to pray for this first stage of the anointing to happen. And all the four stages I've experienced. So I'm, I'm only sharing my own experience. And I'm going to pray. I want you to pray for that anointing to happen to you. Amen. All right. Now, what is the first one? That the Spirit entered into me when he spoke to me. Or Acts 10, 44. And as Peter yet speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them. So we are, I want us to pray now that there will be an increase on the anointing on your life through Listening to messages. Hallelujah. Yes. We are praying for increase of anointing. And you can get your oil because we are going to have an anointing. This is an anointing that has started. As we pray about your faith will increase. And when we do the anointing, you are just moving to the end. Beautiful. Beautiful. Your life will never be the same after today's prayer. Amen. What you ask for, eh, you get it. Yes. Ask, you shall receive. Ask you, shall. So, I wish you will not leave this prayer meeting. Today's particular meeting, we just before by 8 30 will be closed, you know. And thank God we are doing it. You, you never know when they will not, it will not come on. So, we are praying for the anointing to come on you as you listen to preaching. You must listen to preaching messages and that God will anoint you as you listen to preaching. Hallelujah. Do you believe it can happen? It happened to me. And it happened to Peter. And it, I said Peter, Cornelius' house, when Peter was preached. And it happened to Ezekiel. Beautiful. And it happened to Eli Elijah when he was walking with Elijah. He said, as they walked and they talked. As they walked and what? Talked. The talking is the thing. The words that I speak, they are spirit and life. John 6, 63. So God is anointing you as you listen to messages. So, every standing, please, this is the most important, fervent prayer concerning the anointing. And I'm giving you four stages, and this is the first one, for anointing through listening to messages. Yes. Lift your hand and start praying. Kamara mandala baba. Yes. Matalizo kabara mandali baba. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Now, we're going to pray that you will 
receive the anointing when you see the places God wants you to see. Mm. Ezekiel chapter 3. And the hand of the Lord was upon me and said, Arise and go forth into the plain and I will there talk to you. Then I arose and I went forth into the plain and behold, the glory of the Lord. The same one that I saw by the river Cheba. And then verse 24, the spirit entered into me. You see that word, the spirit entered into me. It is in Ezekiel 2.2 2 and Ezekiel 3.24. It's not only in Ezekiel 2.2. 2. It says, then the spirit entered into me. That's the anointing coming into you. You see, so there are, and, and set me on my feet and speak with me. All right. So you are going to receive the anointing, but he told him, go to the plain. Why go to the plain? Because there are things to see. So I want you to pray that when you see certain things that you are supposed to see, God should let you see. And when you see, you should become anointed. One day I was watching Benny Hinn. You see, God wanted me to receive he a healing anointing for evangelism. Without healing, you can't do evangelism. You can do exhortation, but not evangelism. Yes. You, be, you become an exhorter when you don't have a miracle anointing. You're just an exhort. Not just, you are an exhorter. You exhort people to be saved. Yes. You, you can't go with your holy book when people have their own holy book. They have their book already before you came. They have their savior. You need more than just a book. You need something that you can't explain. Karama Satolaba. And the Lord said, Arise and go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with you. To see certain things you see in the plain, why not stay in the house and get see what you see? So, whatever God wants you to see, you are seeing it. Amen. Maybe God wants you to go to Korea. To see something. Or God wants you to go to Tulsa. As you go around. Seeing whatever God. Maybe God wants you to go to the mission field. I have some of my pastors. They are more anointed because they've been on the mission field. All my missionaries, you know. If you've ever been on the mission. It's, a, it's such a credential. Yeah. It's what you have seen it before. It's what you have what? Seen it before. Yeah. Taramasapa. So, there is a tour that God is taking you on. And through the tour, you become anointed. He's taking you here. He's taking you here. Arise. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. And there. There. Tamaru Mazabala. You are going to receive an anointing. Lift your hand and pray right now that you may receive anointing on your spiritual tour wow. as you are moving around. Wow. Kambara. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day, mm. I was on a crusade in a certain country and suddenly, as I lay on my bed, an angel appeared with a bottle. You never forget it. The bottle was as tall as this, but a very slim snout all the way down. And then at the bottom was a big bubble with oil. A new anointing. Let, you know, it was at a particular crusade, the first day before the crusade started. God wants to give you a new anointing. Amen. And I've already been anointed, but I was given an unexpected new anointing. Let us now pray for new additional anointings to whatever you already have. Hallelujah. And at that crusade, Beginning from that crusade, people started to be healed whilst I was preaching. Before, they were only healed when I, after I pray. 
But this one, they started to interrupt when I was preaching. Amazing. Yeah. Karama Zobaraba. I receive. The anointing is real. The journey of the anointing. This is the journey of the anointing. Yeah. You may be anointed, but there's more on the way. Ooh. There is more on the way. There is more Hallelujah. on the way. Makato Barani Loram Adal Majamanakas. I receive. Lift your hand up quickly. Number three, we are mm. praying for new anointing that you've not had in addition, additional mm. anointings. Mm. You see, arise and go to the plane. You Paragraphs. are going to the plane. Any plane you are in Amen. that you are supposed to. That day I was in the country. Then I, I this happened. You will be there. Amen. You will be at where you are supposed to be. And there you become anointed. Amen. Lift your hand. New additional. Additional. Yes. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Bon van da clis pala la 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 ma raba vala ma la la ma jore ne 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 mo compara ri ande le raba vala la la ma zore ne me ne ke te vele li ma pala la la ba la 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 ma raba viso bere ne ye jo fara di akosa nda ba ante li akosa new additional anointing lord mando vasha pala le ke te le vore ne ne mo na kasia arata zo ze me ne rapa katalama Rapontelele mo shanda la 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 ma an kontoli amone le remene nize vala madala ma bala la 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 ma rama vaba la 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 ma rama vaba yanda la 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 ma aya makata la la vaba aya palio lo jaka palia lo jaka palia lo jaka palia lo jaka palia ia quanto tenemenia vino mene ke sele gele hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 Now, the next thing mm. is we are going to pray for a commissioning anointing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time God commissions you, he gives you an anointing. Now, I want you to get your oil and get your oil, put a bit of oil, get it somewhere and keep it near you because we are praying that that oil is going to represent the anointing. Amen. Amen. That's all. But you get it, and I will tell you exactly, the exact moment, the moment will come, and there will be power. Commissioning. You know, there is no time God commissions you that he doesn't give you power or anointing with the commissioning. When he says, do this, then there's power with it. So that's why he says, all power is given to me. Go ye therefore. Uh Or... Go into the world and preach the gospel. These signs shall follow you. It's like, here is the power. So every time God says, do this, that's the day that he gives you the anointing for that thing. So when the Lord commissioned me to do crusades, that was the day. I had a vision and I saw somebody telling me, you must have a crusade and you must pray for the sick. So the day that you have a vision and or God speaks to you in your heart, he's connecting you at that moment to the anointing. It's called the commissioning anointing. You always see power associated with the day you are being asked to do something. Who will ever send you somewhere without giving you money for transport? It gives you the power to eat, to live, to go, to do everything. So where the day that God called you to be a pastor, he has given you power. So commissioning. I see you being commissioned into things and that is the day he is giving you power and anointing for your ministry. So if God has sent you to the mission field, you are anointed for the mission and you'll be there and you'll do great things. Lift your hand and pray. Lord, 
I'm sharing you my own experiences. So if God has commissioned you, pray about it. And if God has not commissioned you, pray for the anointing that we know that, yes, God asked me to even help this man. And he empowered me to do it. That's the anointing, commissioning. Kama Satamara. The day you had the dream, the day you had the vision, the day God spoke to you in the service, the yes. day He spoke to you when you were waiting on Him. Yes. That's the commissioning, and that's the day of the anointing. Mm. Lift your hand and pray for a commissioning anointing. A commissioning anointing. Re recognize it. Recognize it. you are being commissioned. Yes. Kamadara. Yes. Kamadara. Yes. Kamadara. Savome. Kamadara. Pradole. Kamandala. Delegino. Paramandala. Masha. Bora na kateviso, bora da bakasiade. Hallelujah. Now, there is an anointing you can receive, and the way the anointing works is that you begin to understand things that you didn't understand before. Isaiah eleven verse two, and the spirit of the Lord shall come upon him, the spirit of wisdom. Spirit of understanding, counsel, spirit of knowledge. Now, one day the Lord told me to listen to Benny Hinn. And I didn't like to listen to him. I didn't understand anything that he preaches. If you listen to somebody like Benny Hinn and you listen to somebody like Fred Price, the difference is very big. When you listen to Fred Price, it's very clear. That within the first message, you know everything that he said and you understand it. But Benny Hinn, he will only Job, Ezekiel, Leviticus, Exodus, and I don't understand it, all those things. And I could not follow it. But I should listen to it. I should follow. But one day, wow. I suddenly started to understand what I've been listening to for years. And that is the day that the anointing started to come into my life. Because the anointing is understanding, spirit of wisdom. This is what is resting on Jesus. Understanding, wisdom, the, the way you think. Beautiful. You know, sometimes when God shows you something, you, you don't think in a certain way. One day, somebody gave me a book by accident. The book had a lot of pictures. It was basically a book with pictures. When I look at the book with pictures, you know, it's as though that day, God showed me, this is what I want you to do. War the things that are in the pictures. Yeah. So, but you see, our minds don't work in a certain way. After that, I began to understand Benny Hinn's teaching. On. I used to enjoy listening to it so much. And I wonder how somebody doesn't understand this. It's very simple. Very simple. Huh? So beautiful. I said, this is so beautiful. So simple. I could lie on a carpet and listen to him talking about uh, the anointing. Ten messages, each one lasting more than one hour. I can listen to uh, for hours, ten hours. And I just say that this is the greatest message ever in the world. But I couldn't understand a word before. So maybe I'm speaking, you don't understand all the things I'm saying. Because you have not got that anointing. But when the anointing starts to come, the spirit of understanding starts to come. Spirit of, then you start to have the same wisdom. So I want us to pray that now you will receive the anointing by understanding things in a certain way. And thinking in a certain way. And having knowledge in a certain way. You see, some of you, when you see me standing outside and pointing to Jupiter. Yesterday I was pointing to Jupiter, Saturn. Some of you, it, it just, you just walk away. It's because of the anointing you, you don't have. And if you have a certain anointing or certain wisdom and understanding, how do you know this is Jupiter? How do you know this is Saturn? How do you know this is Mars? How do you know this is a star? How can you see uh, uh, Pleiades and Mazarot? What is Mazarot? You don't care about such things. 
But a time comes when it becomes wonderful to you. Yeah. So, there's a certain understanding. Yeah. If you come to where I am now, you see what's happening in the area here. Your mind will, will think in a certain way if you have a certain anointing. If you don't have anointing, you will not think in a certain way. So let's pray that now we are going to receive anointing that we will now, we ourselves will see that our minds have totally changed. The way we think is totally changed. Some of you, you used to be racist in your thinking. But you see that God, yeah. You know, many Ghanaians are, ra- are not racist, but we have our ways. Yeah. It's like this. You can't see. Yeah. I know what I'm saying because I've, li- I've lived in Ghana all my life. And I know how people have related to me. People have related to me like a foreigner. Yeah. So I know the ways. Yeah. Don't mind him. So, you will think differently. Yeah. yeah. One day we had a foreigner, and somebody who's not from the country, working in the office. And I said to the people, don't speak tree around the person. There is something wrong with that. Speak the language that everybody understands. <laughs> That's why your ministry is not international. Because you are a local champion. But today marks the end of local championism. You are moving to what? International ministry. Because understanding is coming. And there's an understanding that will draw foreigners and draw the nations. All nations will feel welcome. They will know that it's one and the same, from, which is how God sees it. Every standing. Every standing. Please, we are just left with some few minutes to finish the prayer meeting. So, yeah, the minutes are almost done. Most of that, in a few minutes, we'll be ending. So, pray for the anointing that comes to your understanding, knowledge, thinking will change. That's how you receive the anointing. Receive it right now. Paramashandola bakabarandaliba. Homa ramandala baba. Jore neketis. Amandala magabarandola medelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebelebel
write a book, then it means power has come. Yes, power has come. Palamada. Now, the next one is that you're going to pray that somebody will lay hands on you and truly you'll receive something. Idahosa, before he died, Archbishop Idahosa, he came to Ghana two weeks before he died. And on that trip, uh, he laid hands on me in the church. And I felt fire here at this, where if you can feel this exact spot, something was burning. So I thought he had poured some chemicals. And he, they anointed me in, my, in the church. And I, re, I believe I received an anointing. You know, he had the largest Bible school at that time. And today, we have the largest Bible school, I believe. Yeah. He was producing pastors. All the pastor products are his pastors. He, Archbishop Duncan Williams is his product. Yeah. And many wonderful men of God in Ghana. They are all his products. Yeah. Or products of his products. <laughs> Karamasha. And that day when I knelt down and he laid her, this is a man, two weeks before he died. Yeah. I was the most famous man of God in Nigeria. With big crusades with Bonke and others. Yeah. He laid hands on me. So I'm praying. I want you to pray. Look, we are not praying vague prayers today. That somebody will lay quality hands on you and that it will actually happen that you get an anointing or you become anointed by the hand that touches you. Do you, can you, do you believe such things are possible? But pray for it. Why don't you pray for it? We are not praying for the anointing. We are praying that somebody will lay hands you have hands laid on you. Yes. And you will receive. Or if somebody breathes on you, to not be just viruses that you'll be receiving, but you'll receive the anointed. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Can you pray for a very specific thing? Yes, very specific. Lift your hands and pray right now. Karamadada. We are left with these few minutes, please. You are praying for yourself. Oh, I don't know what you want again. Lord, let ever whether it's handshake, oh, hands laid, oh, hug, oh, touch, yes, lay whatever, yes, makaro manala manashandola baba, mandola mandele de 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 barana mandele, mandolo lo mokoshi, mandala la 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 la, vente fele kisopa, palala la ma valiendo, roje fere de beketo la la ma. Aya kasa, vorendele le melele, raba vaba la 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 ma, loje vene keti e kasa, pala la la ma vale, ee, ee, raba vaba 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 vaba, last chanda la la ma, raba vaba vaba, aya raba da vaba, maseko para dia, vorene mene ke sunda la la ma, la jere de beleve me, radua vede ke si, pala la monde. John Vender Klikosa, Pat Rabba Valalama, Balanda Bligo, Pola Lalama. Yes, he's doing it for he's you. He's doing it. Mandalamana. He's Mandala. doing it. Now, Mandala make a body. Ramano Kosheke Taka Palala. Rabba Valama Diavole Vemene Nemo Mandolo Lomo. Le Fantaki Azo Balalama. A Palala Lialo. Rap Palala Lialoba. A Jove Meneme. Rap Pamana Vido. Number seven. Yes. We are going to pray that your words will be anointed words. Hallelujah. What did I say? Anointed words. What are anointed words? Isaiah 55. Anointed words. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Beautiful. It shall not return unto me void. Okay? 
but it shall accomplish. So anointed words are words that accomplish things. They are, and not return unto me void is fruit, fruitless, without fruit. So it's fruitful words, accomplishing words with accomplishing capabilities. But it shall prosper. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I can say is that I have seen God's anointing on my words. Yes. And why am I saying that? Because it's a surprise to me. It's a surprise to me. Yeah. Look, we our all nations office, sometimes they are discussing, talking to pastors in different countries, Peru, Chile, Venezuela. They, they have all read my books. Many, I don't know them from Adam or Eve. Adam, Eve, or even Abel and Cain. I have not seen them before. But they have read the books. They know, oh, we know. We've read. They are blessed. They are reading more. Different nations. Different languages. Latvian pastors. And other nations. Yes, it shall accomplish. You know, but what I'm trying to say is that it is to my surprise. I am surprised. Yeah. I am what? Surprised. Surprised. So your words are going to change if you either write them or you speak them. If you do what? You write them or you speak them or you sing them. The songs are words that I wrote. All the songs, Ida and these other stars sing, they are all words that I wrote. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Karama Satabara. You no longer be saying things that people will just fall asleep. Amen. 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 My books are like crabs that are sleeping on the floor. You think it's dead. Then suddenly it wakes up and starts moving by itself. That's how it is. One day a man came from Russia and he said, uh, he, he wants to translate my book into Russian many years ago. My book had never been translated. So he took one book and translated it to Russian. I said, if, he asked me, he asked, he sent it. I said, you can do. Suddenly, the demand. Yes. One day when I met him, he said, my main work is now your books. A white man. Your words are going to be anointed words. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach. So your words will no longer be this type of word. When people see you, they say, oh yeah, I get, I get the point, but I don't agree. I get the point, but I don't agree. You will no more be hearing that thing. I get the point, but I don't agree. I can point to people who surprise me. When they tell me, I was at this camp from that time, my life changed. I wonder, ah, but me, I was reading my notes. I don't even find it powerful. I, I was even feeling tired. There's something else that is not from me. Yeah, there's something else. How many times people are so blessed? I say, ah, me, I wasn't blessed at all. <laughs> so shall my word be that goeth forth. Lift your hand and start praying that your preaching words, talking words, writing words, singing words, every word, even blessings and curses and everything will be full of power and anointing. Kamandola mama shandala baba. Pray that your words will receive an anointing yes, now. Yes. Your words will now receive an anointing. Yes, Lord. Ramon de Venezuela, de la 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 la
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, today we are praying some practical prayers we've wow. never prayed before. Number eight, I want us to pray that you will honor the anointed and receive an anointing. You see, because he thought about giving offering to somebody to meet somebody's needs. Kenneth Hagen will never need my money. It cannot be possible. Think about it. When will he need my money? No. <laughs> Under what circumstances? But the Lord wanted me to honor him, the anointed. Yes. So I want everybody to pray, you know. It's not about finding money to give to a man of God. No. It's about you honoring an anointed person. And I, I dare say that all the people that God has led me to honor, God has blessed me with the anointing even that is on their lives. For instance, I met Maurice Cirillo. I never felt like honoring him with any anointing. I, didn't, I don't have that relationship with him. When I saw him, I'm, I'm just, there's nothing. I, I just, I don't have that relationship or I don't know him in that way. He's great. I really, he's one of the people I, I, I love and I respect. He's so beautiful to me. Are you with me? Right. Yeah. But when I saw Kenneth Hagen, I wanted to honor him. Even Idahosa, I wanted to honor him. And I did. When I met Fred Price, I wanted to honor him. Beautiful. When I met Benny Hinn, I wanted to honor him. So I pray that God will help you that you will sow a seed and you honor the Lord's anointed and become anointed. Yes, that's, that's all. That's all you need. Amen. That's all that you need. So let's pray that it will happen. Not that you are just giving offerings around. What do you think? Is it a good prayer? Is it a beautiful prayer? Yeah, I, I, I really believe it. These are spiritual, practical things. Pray that God will help you to also be able to honor the anointing and be anointed also. Yes. Let's do that. Let's pray. Pray, pray for it. Pray for it. Pray for it right now. Ayara Pakatalama. Ayara Badalalama. Vola Viste. Vola Viste. Vola Viste. Everybody. Vola Viste. Everybody, take take your offering right now. I feel that we should take the offering right away. Hallelujah. Right now. Yes. Take your offering. And let us honor the anointing on the ministry. Yes, because I'm not talking about somebody who, like we are all watching the power of God at work. Amen. At 3.30 in the morning, I can see 10,000 people watching at 3 a.m. Amazing. Yes. So, they, there is something happening. And let us honor the anointing. Amen. Let's honor the anointing. Everybody take out, because this is the moment we are actually praying about it. Yes. This is it. This is it. I've done it many times. And God blessed me. You see, where Jesus said that, a prophet is not without honor, only in his house. But where he is honored, then you see miracles and you see power. That is why we have introduced honor your prophet. Not for meeting needs, but for honoring that we may see the power of God. Yes. Every taking of a special offering, honoring the anointing offering, everyone take it out. Wherever you are, just stop in America, Ghana, UK, England, Canada, everywhere. Just stop what you are doing and take, watching television, please take and let's honor the anointing. The anointing that we are all enjoying today, prayer meetings. You know, I was thanking God that he has given strength and health every Tuesday and Friday for the last pandemic. Is it not a blessing? Yes. 
It's amazing. Because you have to be strong and well to be able to be here. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't be here. Yeah. Is it not amazing? Take your offering quickly, please. Marama Shandola Mama. Now lift it up everywhere. Father, as your servants, your children honor the anointing, Lord, let it provoke truly and in a real way a great grace upon the church and upon everyone, Lord. Oh, Father, let us also start telling stories of how we honor the anointing and now we can see the anointing in our lives practically. Thank you. In every field, every sphere, every place that is part of this beautiful service, prayer service, we thank you for your power. Power, 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 power. Makatala mura madashandalaba. Power in the offering. Power in giving. Power in honoring. Provoking your grace. Provoking your power. Provoking your love. Provoking, Lord. Dakara mashambura mandali baba. Supernatural inputs. Mandari makatabala. Manole katala. Ramba dalima. Borida. Barasakata. Paridiale de Bushimandalabada. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we release this offering to honor and respect all that you have done and you are doing through this great, great anointing. We are also surprised at your mighty power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the last receiving the anointing prayers, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I've given you nine topics and I'm giving you number 10. Is it, is it nine I've given you? Eight and number nine. Amen. Have you released your offering? Yes. It's gone. Beautiful. Number nine, everybody. And get your oil ready. Because when we get to number 10, we are probably going to be anointing ourselves wherever we are, wherever you are. Don't sleep in Nicaragua at this time. You've been able to survive up to this point. Is it now you are going to sleep? Florida, please, please. Okay, now, number nine. Pray that you will connect with the anointing of somebody who is not alive. Yes. Because it happens. And I think it has happened to me. Yes. He shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias. Yes. He will have the anointing of someone who died long ago. That's John the Baptist, eh? Luke 1, 17. He will have the anointing of somebody who died some time ago. How many believe that you can have an anointing of somebody who dies? Yes, I believe that I am enjoying, excuse me to the Methodist, some of the Methodist anointing. Yes. I like what they have. <laughs> and one day, God introduced me to John Wesley without anybody introducing me to him. Yes. Ah, I was praying somewhere, and then I saw a book, an old book, and I just started looking, and I was surprised at what I saw. Since then, John Wesley has become one of my favorite people. And if you look in our church, you see a lot of John Wesley things. Yeah. So Methodists, please, allow us to borrow some of the anointing from you and partake. Philippians 1.7, we are partakers of your grace. So all Methodists should please accept us. Amen. Amen. What do you think? Yes. Philippians 1, 7. You are all partakers of my... Look, when you see a nice thing, eh, just take some. Amen. Once it's not stealing. Yes. So you see a lot of John Wesley things in our church. Actually, I have a book that is... I don't think it's out yet, but you see all those things in it. Beautiful. He shall come forth in the spirit and Power of somebody who is dead long time ago. Wow. Wow. 
Can that happen to you? Yes. yes. So I don't know who you want to, uh, whose grace, maybe Catherine Kuhlman. Yes. Maybe you are the next Catherine Kuhlman. Maybe you are the next Amy. Amy Semple McPherson. Yes. Also can. Maybe you are the next William Carey. Maybe you are the next Adoniram Jackson. In the spirit and power of Adoniram Jackson. Wow. Kamarama Sapalandala. Maybe you are the next James McKeown. Huh? I don't know who is great in your country. But mention his name. Maybe God is going to connect you. So let's pray. Who knows? You are carrying a grace. We are partakers. We are partakers. John Wesley cannot come to this world and go without us partaking. It's too big. It's too what? Is it, it's too big to live for only Methodists. We are also here. Others for chop some. Others for what? Others for chop some. Amen. We are chopping some of the Methodist anointing. Is it a beautiful thing? Let's all stand and pray that God should anoint us with the spirit and power of our own personal Elijahs. Get your oil ready. Get your oil ready for the last prayer topic of the anointing. As you pray, to be partakers of somebody else's grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, finally, mm. we are going to pray for the anointing to preach. Amen. Now, your preaching is going to be like French fries. You know French fries. Chips, like nice. Ice cream. Your preaching will be like ice cream. When you preach, it's like somebody's eating ice cream. What do you like to eat? What do you want to eat? Fufu. Say the word you, what you want to eat. Fried rice. Your preaching will be like fried rice that is nicely fried. So, like when you are preaching, it's like sausages are coming out of your mouth, hamburgers are flying, French fries are flying, ice cream is going out, lasagna, uh, uh, jollof rice, what? Fufu, pap, meat is going out in the spirit. I saw it like a vision. And especially, I was seeing something like French fries, Coca Cola. I received. Hamburgers, fish and chips. They're just moving out of your and people are just eating. Look at Luke 4 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me number one to preach. The first place we will see the change and the anointing is in your preaching. Yes. Let's face it anointing is for work for God. Anointing is for what? It's for working for God anointing to preach the gospel to the poor, which means you have money to preach to them because wow. the poor cannot give you offering. Beautiful. Beautiful. Poor cannot do what? Cannot, cannot give you much, but you can be there with them wow. and you'll be ministering nicely. Karimo Ramada. I receive. Tamaro Labidada. Tomali Bakabala. Take your oil. Take your oil. Take your oil, everybody. And we are going to do what I call rubbing. We are going to rub. Rub your head. Put the oil on your hand. That's what the shepherd does. The shepherd rubs the oil on the sheep. And the demons or the flies which torment the sheep are no longer able to do that. Give me a bit of the oil there. Beautiful. I have the oil in my hand. Everyone with anointing, oil, and take your oil in your hand. Wherever you are in your house, you are alone in your room, put on the light, please, so that you can see. Put on the light in your house, please. 
and open the blinds, do whatever, get oil. This is an anointing service. All this is by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Anointing. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I see many people, your preaching is like French fries, hamburgers, uh, McDonald's. I mean, something just delicious that people like. Whatever you like, please. Banku is like Banku flying Bankus and flying tilapias. I don't know. Whatever you like. Yeah. Tarama. In Shima. Yes. In Shima. Chapati. Chinese. Whatever. Karoma Dala. Hold the oil like this. Now put it on your head like this. Father, thank you as we wrap this anointing. I pray, Lord, for everyone. Evil spirits and evil thoughts go out of our heads. Amen. Devils go away from us. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes on everyone that is part of this amazing anointing service. Realities of the anointing. Narako Maramanda. Receive the shepherd's blessings. Receive the shepherd's blessings. Receive the shepherd's blessings as this oil is rubbed into you, into you. All dark thoughts and yes. dark feelings yes. and wickedness yes. and evil is taken out. Yes. And the anointing of God practically and really enters and permeates your being from today. You shall be characterized by the anointing. Says the Lord, says the shepherd of your soul. Receive it, walk in it, my son, my servant, my child. Walk in the anointing, says the shepherd, the shepherd of your soul. Be anointed. Yes. You'll be recognized for your anointing. Amen. Not for anything else. Amen. For the anointing on your life. Amen. Manda kabala dore de. Ambore de beke sheke. Taramando le ba kabala. Adome nege bala. Ore de be neke tore de boko sheke. Rub the anointing. Oh yes. Rub the oil. Oh yes. Rub it into your head. Oh yes. Rub it into your body. Oh yes. Makabado mandele be de de de. A transformation takes place. Yes. Ah, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. Mango bali dole mango. Mango re ne moko cheke cheke para da 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 da. Rame. Usa. Baza bali bola la la mana. Hala la la mavana mana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, in this new anointing, mm. number one, the effect of the anointing that is now on your life. Number one, an impact to the poor. He said, preach the gospel to the poor. From today, Hallelujah. you'll be comfortable with poor people. Amen. Not just comfortable with the rich or people that are privileged. But any poor person, you can be there. To be able to be there, it takes power and grace. Yes, there is nowhere you cannot be. Or you cannot thrive. Or you cannot prosper. Lift your hand now and pray. Lord, with this new anointing, help me to make a difference to the poor in this world. Lift your hand and pray. Help That's me, the anointing Lord. that is coming help upon me. you. To make Go a difference to the poor. Go Any faskina. poor poor thing. Go poor faskina. poor person, poor Herente group, Frigaso. poor nation, poor Dimelis. people, Dimelis. poor tribe. Berenabe. I can make a difference by the anointing on your life. Oh yes. 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 Lift your hands and start praying quickly for your mission. Your mission. Your mission with this new anointing. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two. He had sent me to heal the broken heart. We are talking about your missions, your seven missions because of your new anointing. Number one is to the poor. Number two, the broken hearted. Have you had a broken heart before? Huh? Disappointed. Broken. 
Hmm. You will not understand the English words. But they say that broken is spot. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. None of the king's horses and none of the king's men could put Humpty Dumpty together again. Eh? Broken, hearted, disappointed, sorrowful, no solution people. You are the savior and the help that God is sending to people. Lift your hand and pray concerning the broken hearted. Please, we are ending. We are ending. You can also get your communion ready for the end G. communion. Yes. Because we'll be ending, but we are just ending as we pray right now. Paramandole Magaba. Tabomelele Bagaba Lodele. Melodilini Manamado Kalebodele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now it says, and the spirit of the Lord is upon me, has anointed me. To set the captives free. One of the signs of demonic activity is that you can't stop. You can't what? Stop. Stop. You can't come out. You can't go out of it. That's what is called captive. But when you are captive, you can't leave. But when Julius Caesar was uh, captured by some pirates, do you see? He couldn't come out. He couldn't leave them because they had captured him. Do you see? And he told them, when I am free, I will kill all of you. I will hang you. You know, and they were joking with him and eating with him, but they thought he was joking, but he meant it. And when they asked for ransom, he told them it was not enough, but he's a very expensive person. They, They should increase it. They paid him after he chased them and caught them and killed all of them. Yeah, his friends. So, captivity means you can't what? You can't go out. You can't stop. You always have to come. Some of you are captive to a boy. Captive to a girl. Captive to a sin. Captive to captivity. Captivity. Captive to a habit. Captive to adultery. Captive to wickedness. You can't stop things. Captive to pornography. Huh? Captivity. So the anointing, you, you are the anointed through you. People will be free from things that they can't be free from. Amen. Amen. Please, I hope you are praying with me. All right? Let's lift up our hands as we, we are just ending our prayer. Your missions. Yes. Mandakaba with your new anointing. Maramondele Bakabara. Marombele Madele Mandala Bakabara. Hambara Ramadido Berene Keshe. Rapato Zomerene Mene. Labada Labala Lala Baba. Maya Vala Madobelele. Vejerene Ketobala Lama. Pala Ntove. Ramavino Moko. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we will continue praying about this new anointing next time. But before we go, I want us to pray for two nations, Angola and Ethiopia. I feel a burden in my heart to pray for Angola and Ethiopia. Amen. Get your communion ready. But we are now praying for Angola and then we pray for Ethiopia and then we are having our communion. Amen. Let's pray for Angola 32 million Portuguese-speaking people. 32 what? Million Portuguese-speaking people. We don't have, we have a church there. Apostle Kingsley is there. But we are not, we have not broken through in a certain way for various political reasons. All right? So let's pray that God will make Angola such a harvest field. Amen. Our churches will be spread all over. Crusades. Many people will be saved. Much blessing will be on the nation of Angola. Hallelujah. Look, the blessing is not money. It's not vocational jobs. Neither is it computer schools. The the blessing is salvation through Christ. Let's pray for Angola, please. Yes. We are just praying for two countries today. Angola and Ethiopia. Angola, Makoto Boshadaba, Reme Veneke Sondalama, Verenete Vere de Vieso.